So in this video, we're going to go through some examples where I'm going to write each of these in the form of 3 to the power of k. So with example number 1, we have the cube root of 3, which we can write as 3 to the power of 1 third. Then we have the cube root of 9. Now 9 is 3 squared, so I can write that as 3 squared all to the power of 1 third. So we have 3 to the power of 1 third times by 3 to the power of 2 thirds, multiplying the 2 and the third together. Now we've got 3 to the power of a third times 3 to the power of 2 thirds, which is 3 to the power of 1, because we have 1 third plus 2 thirds. Now you could just write that as 3, but because it says write it in the form of 3 to the k, I'll just leave it like that. Now for the second example, we've got the fifth root of 27. Now 27 is 3 cubed, so 3 cubed, and that's to the power of 1 fifth. Then we have the square root of 3, that's 3 to the power of a half. And then we've got 81, and that's 3 to the power of 4. So we have 3 to the power of 3 fifths over 3 to the power of a half times by 3 to the 4. Let's deal with that fraction first. We've got 3 fifths take away a half, so 1 tenth. So 3 to the power of 1 tenth, 3 fifths take away a half is a tenth. And then 1 tenth plus 4 is 41 tenths. And so that is what we needed to do for that one.